Hello, I'm Atuba Judge, and yesterday I began reading a scripture to you from Isaiah chapter 55. And then I'm going to take it again. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. See, now, do it now. Seek the Lord. Now, you know, when, when, when you read scripture, like say, Seek the Lord, your, your mind just goes, He's talking to unbelievers. You know, for example, when Jesus said in the book of Revelation, he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone will hear my voice and open, I will come in and dine with him. Now, people use that scripture during evangelism. They use that scripture during crusade. And they are talking to unrepentant for unbelievers and say, Look, Jesus is standing at your, the, heart of your, the door of your heart and he is knocking. Open to him. But hey, do you realize Jesus was speaking to the church when he said that? See, he was talking to the church. Because he said that when he was talking to the seven churches. So he said, behold, I stand at the door and I knock. He's talking to you, the believer. So the fact that he said, but, but why is he knocking when I've received Jesus Christ into my life? He said, that's the problem. Well, you don't understand how these things work. You receive Christ into your life. Goody. But that's not all. Jesus is still training you and building you up and he still visits you. See? So at every time he comes and he doesn't just bag, badge into your life and takes you by the hand. You just, you just wake up and you see that you're beginning to move in a particular direction and you're wondering what's happening to me. Oh, I think it's the Lord that's moving me. No, 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 no. He seeks your willingness. He seeks your obedience. That's why Isaiah tells us if you are willing and you are obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Now here in Isaiah 55, he says, let the wicked, verse 7, he says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. What does it mean to forsake your thoughts? That thing that you think is right, that you're holding on to, get ready to let it go. Let it go for what? For the thoughts of God. See? Because it's, and, and, and the unrighteous man is taught, and let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him. And to our God, he will abundantly pardon. Now, there's something I always used to say. The greatest gift that the Lord has given to us is the ability to repent. It's a blessing. You know, I, I don't know what people think sometimes. You know, when you talk about repentance, they just think you're talking about, okay, I used to be a sinner, now I'm no more a sinner. Uh-uh. To repent means to change your way of thinking. Change your thoughts. For example, if you feel, you know, there are people who just feel life is hard. That's their mentality. See, you need to struggle for anything. You know, like people say, hustle, hustle. <laughs> Praise God. They say you must hustle in life. There are pastors that believe that. You must struggle for everything. Things don't just come easy. Now, that's a way of thinking. That is a thought. But then, is that the truth? No! Okay, you say people must work hard. People must hustle. Okay, Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Alright? So, how do you put that together? You must hustle. Jesus said, come if you're hustling and I'll give you rest. Okay, so someone said, I've gone to Jesus. Now, I'm, I'm, I've come to Jesus. And then he comes to Jesus. Someone who's supposed to be in Jesus, a pastor, is now telling him, you need to hustle. Oh, so, so I don't get. So where does he go to? Now, you just know automatically that this person is not fully representing Jesus. It's, that's the truth. Because God is saying here that turn from your thoughts and return to the Lord. When you return to the Lord, what's the Lord going to give you? Mercy. See, he's going to show you mercy. Why is the Lord going to show you mercy? Notice he didn't say what evil this person did. He just said this person should change his way of thinking. So when you change your way of thinking and turn to the Lord, the Lord is going to show you mercy. Praise God. Isn't that beautiful? That's why I say the greatest gift, one of the greatest gifts God has given to us is the ability to repent. So when we repent, God shows us mercy. When I stop thinking, come, life is all about struggling and hustling. 
that that's what makes people steal, that's what makes people cheat, that's what makes people fight one another to gain advantage over them. That's that mentality. So when I realized that, come, I don't think this is what life is all about. This can't be what God prepared for all, all of us. No, it can't be. I need to find out what God's thoughts are concerning what this or this or that. Now you begin to find out. Hey, you, you stumble on scriptures, for example, like the one I said earlier. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And he said, come, something is not right from my way of thinking. If Jesus is saying he will give me rest, what does he mean by he will give me rest? He said, if I'm laboring, if I'm struggling, I should come to, I've been struggling. So I want to get, I want to have this rest that Jesus is talking about. And you begin to search the scriptures, search the things that Jesus has said. And then suddenly you begin to realize, come, life is dif different from what I used to think. So what do you do? Lord, I think I've been thinking wrong concerning this. And I want to repent before you now. See? You call that thing you've been thinking wrong about. Now that you have known the truth, you receive the truth. And then what do you do? You turn from me. Say, Father, I'm so sorry. I've been full of my ways. Thinking I've got to struggle through life for everything. But I just found out from your word that you called me to have rest. So Lord, I repent from that thinking. And what's the Lord going to give to you? Mercy. Oh, we'll, we'll talk about this as we go on this week. Praise God, because I've got to stop here now. Listen, may God bless you today and grant you favor, special favor, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>